we're equal, guys. I, I didn't even notice, but we're actually equal. So I managed to get out of a minus six position to complete equality just by continuing to play the game, okay? So guys, be confident. That's what I'm telling you. Be confident. What's up, everyone? And welcome or welcome back to my channel. Chess Doctor here with yet another banger. And in today's video, we're continuing episodes of Grinding Elo in Rapid Chess. So I have been very surprised because uh, every time I sit here and film a video and play rapid, somehow, miraculously, I win the game and I just win ELO. And I, I have been feeling pretty good about it. So let's continue with the good vibes today as well, guys. Uh, and I do be rhyming every single day. So secretly, your chess doctor is actually a rapper, okay? So uh, I'm like a 21 Savage level rapper, okay? So uh, we're going to play the Petro here because... We have nothing smarter to do with our lives, okay? We just play the Petro and that's it. We pray for the goat or we just we just make random moves until we win, okay? So I'm currently 1060 ELO in rapid, feeling good, you know? Uh, and we're just chilling, playing the Stafford. The Stafford Gambit. Okay, so it's his move again. We just pre-move this every single time. And now he does this. This is an annoying move. I really don't like when they play me d3 because what am I supposed to do, sir? What am I supposed to do? Because, like, I can, I can go here. He just asked me a question, right? If I go here, he just forks me. I can take then. Okay, let's try that because I don't see the point of going here with the bishop, honestly. Okay, so now we have this. So let's ask him a question to see whether or not he's gonna trade because I would like to trade, sir. Oh, he doesn't want to trade. Okay. Okay, you know what? I don't care. Hmm. This is a very annoying position. This is a very annoying, but we're going to castle and we're going to not care. Seriously, like, we're just playing moves here. It's move seven, so you know, sometimes you just have to be patient and wait for the uh, magic of chess to start because these moves are just like regular old moves. You know, you just develop. It's just the question whether or not you're going to develop here or here, for example, you know. So he develops the bishop and he wants to castle up as well. Should we do something so he can't castle up? He's already up a pawn. I'm currently honestly considering playing a move like this so that he takes and can't castle here. But then he can try and castle on the other side, which I just, uh, I don't know what to think about it. So I want to play, I don't know, a weird move like this. Because, like, if he trades up here, we can take this. We're also threatening here. So it's not actually that weird of a move. It's actually good. <laughs> it's actually okay, I think. I mean, he can go here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking he's gonna do. But I don't care. Uh, then he can ask me a question, right? So should we ask him some type of question before he does that? But if he ask a question here... Okay, let's go here then. Then he can't push the pawn, okay? Very simple. Very simple, guys. Classical. We're playing the classical Stafford because we're the classical people, you know. I, I do be very classy when I play my Stafford. <laughs> I don't know what does that mean, okay? Nobody does. Nobody does. So, uh, he castled successfully for my opponent. Uh, sadly, we can't sack here because this is, this is doubled here, okay? Uh, if we ask a question here, he just takes... And I wouldn't like to trade the queen, so that that's not that's not the best. We can go like this, maybe. He might do this. He might do this, but then if he does, we take. Okay, so he's doing this instead. It, he's just. Oh, I thought he was gambiting the pawn for a second, guys. There is a rook. There is a rook, definitely. <laughs> that's not better at, at blitz than rapid because in blitz I have that initial thought. Oh, this is free, and then I just give it and lose the game. In Rapid, I have time to think and see the rook actually standing there, you know. <laughs> Beginner chess problems. Okay, so he is uh, not allowing me to stay here anymore. And we should go back here, right? Uh, I mean, we can ask the counter question, but that's not good. That's definitely not good. We'll let, uh, let him trade up like this, honestly. Or like this, actually. Honestly, I don't care. Oh, now he forked me. Come on, sir. Okay, then I will just give the bishop... Or should we? No, let's go like this. Honestly, I don't care. I just don't care. Do whatever you want. 
Yeah, trade it, I don't care. He do be up a piece. I'm sorry, that's just how it is today. But I still think we're gonna win. I still have a lot of hopes because uh, in the last videos that I played, situations were nothing much different, you know? I would lose a piece or a pawn or a rook, you know? And I would still win the game because I'm confident and I think that honestly that's all it matters. As long as you're having fun, I just shouldn't like blunder things like, oh, I'm gonna trade now because then we traded too much. I have to move now, okay? That's logical, that's logical. So we can't stay on that diagonal, we have to move somewhere like this. Uh, so like he gonna probably ask me a question here, so I move like this. Very annoying position. I didn't say I enjoy the position, but still I think if we play for uh, a lot of moves, then my opponent is going to blunder back, okay? So we just have to be on a lookout for opponent's blunders uh, when we are in a position like this, down a piece, down a, down a whatever, you know? Just don't be down a king and you good, you good, sir. Okay, uh, we have this. Should I care about it? I mean, I should probably. So I think I'm just gonna go s somewhere like this because I don't have a dark square bishop. I don't mind having all of my pawns on the dark squares. Honestly, that would be a goal because then my light square bishop can like go through, you know? He just has a lot of vision. So this is actually okay. So he, he took this pawn, okay. Okay, I mean, fine. Oh! Sir. I just gave the bishop. We're st still not going to resign though. We're still going to keep on playing. We are not going to resign. Okay, never, never. We are down six points of material currently. Uh, place your bets in the comments <laughs> while you're watching this. Am I gonna win? I still don't know. <laughs> I blundered a lot. I blundered a fork and this. I would... Sir, no. Sir, no. Okay. We can't give this check, that is such a big issue. Uh, but we can go like this and like make a discovery or whatever, you know? Just like by pushing here. I don't know why, I don't know what they're gonna do, okay? But I just don't care at the same time. I'm already emotion um, emotionally detached from this game because I just blundered, okay? But that's, that's what happens in, in chess as well, guys. That is also what happens. It's all fine, you know, just chill. And you just have to look. See, now he's afraid of my queen giving him a, a, a discovery check that means nothing, okay? Uh, <laughs> okay, so we can... Uh, <laughs> what should we do? What should we do? We can go like this and ask the queen a question, right? Where's she gonna go? Because I don't see what is she threatening currently. Because this pawn is blocking the rook's vision on the queen, right? So... Let's just ask that, even though it's maybe not the best for me to open up my king like that. But currently I think I'm okay. I think I'm A-okay. We also had this. We had that. But uh, he, he can just like move like this. But then he gives the horse, right? That was actually good. But now he moved, okay, because we threatened with the tempo. So I think we can actually do this, right? Yeah, I think that's actually possible. Horse can go here. And sacrifice himself. So I think we're at least winning a horse here, right? I think we're at least winning the horse. Maybe we win the queen. I don't know, sir, but we're getting back. We are getting back in this one, okay? <laughs> if I win, I win eight. If I lose, I lose eight. So it's fair and square, you know? And it's just, it's just a position. Oh, he has that move, which is, which is very ridiculous. I wouldn't like to trade the queens though. I really don't like that idea. I do not I do not consent to trading my queen. Uh can we like block the vision though? Can't we like do that? That's actually saucy. Let's try that out because we're blocking. Come on guys, this is crazy. We're blocking this vision. He can't grab the pawn though. But then we just take here. We don't care. Because the rook is defended both ways, from the queen and from the pawn here, right? This is crazy. <laughs> Chess is wild, guys. Chess is wild. What is this position? <laughs> How did I get here? Literally. I ask myself that every day. Uh, but when you don't give up, when you just continue playing, you know, and you just you just play your games until the end, I think I, I think you can you can succeed, you know? Okay, so I don't know what is he threatening. We just got a rook because 
What is he threatening? I don't know. I don't know what is he threatening. Okay, he might, I don't know, do, do something like this. I don't care. I don't care, okay? I'm detached. As he said, I'm detached. Just that my queen is kind of looking goofy right now because where's she gonna go? Where's she gonna go? I don't know. But, okay. Okay, so we can't take the rook. If we go here, yeah, that's not good. Because then he just like takes and then we trade. I can go like here and attack this. I mean, what else is there for me to do than this? I just hope I don't get forked <laughs> and that's it. But now we're, now we're equal guys. I, I didn't even notice, but we're actually equal. So I managed to get out of a minus six position to complete equality just by continuing to play the game, okay? So guys, be confident. That's what I'm telling you, be confident. So we can now win a pawn and trade these queens. But is that so good? I would love to, to keep my queen, okay? I would like to keep her on the board. But where should she go, though? We can go like this. Huh. I'm not sure what move should I make here. Because I can take the pawn, simply win a pawn, and uh, but I know he will trade the queens. And I don't like playing those positions, so I'm gonna go here and rather go like this. Honestly, I don't want to trade the queen. Even though we're equal now, I want to keep my queen on the board. He just has like a double time. That's crazy to think about. Yeah, I think now we will have to trade the queen, right? Yeah, because what else is there for me to do? Okay, let's trade her. I'm not afraid of that. I just don't like it, okay? I just don't like the, the fact that I need to, like, trade the queen or whatever. Because I feel like, I don't know, but his king is looking very sus in that corner. So if we could, like, <sighs> I don't know what could we do. I don't know what could we do, okay? Uh, we can ask the bishop a question. We can definitely do that and make this barricade of pawns that are all light square. Now attack like this. Now it's just like pretty much straightforward chess. I have to just trade everything up and stay up a pawn and win the game, okay? That's what I should do. That is like the simple rule of chess. Hmm. We can go like inside like this, but we still can't win this pawn though. I don't care. I don't care. Why am I dark? Hello? Uh, I don't care because I'm just gonna ask him multiple questions until he blunders the game, okay? That's my strategy now, because I see that this opponent, he didn't know how to capitalize on being completely up two pieces, you know? He actually let me do my thing, okay? Let's go like this. Because where is he looking? What is he cooking? If I go here, takes, takes, and I win the, win the knight. So I think we can actually do this. Yeah, let's still ask for a trade, because it's still the same thing. Oh yeah, it's not the same thing, honestly, but we should trade anyways. We should trade anyways, because we are up a pawn, and as I said, simplicity of chess. If you're up material, just trade everything, and when it all comes down, you are up a pawn, and you're winning. Okay, so he's attacking absolutely nothing, he just moved this. We can trade up, but I don't actually like that so much anymore. But I'm I'm gonna do it. Because I don't have any time to think, okay? He has two pieces for one rook. Which, I mean, a rook is strong, you know. But come on, sir. This is crazy. This is crazy, okay? Because this bishop and a horse can easily, like, bully my one singular rook. So I have to be careful here. Okay, so he took this pawn. We can't go like this or anything. Okay, we have to do this. Cause he gonna he wants to take this pawn as well. Come on, this is this is very annoying. I don't like this honestly because these two pawns are just looking at each other, but they have to do it. There is no other way for me. There is no other way. Can't do anything honestly. 
Okay, you know what? Let him grab it. I'm gonna go here. Or like this. Oh, I can't. The, the horse! <laughs> the horse is, oh my god, annoying me a lot. A lot. Maybe I can flag the dude, though. So Now he's up a pawn, see? It wasn't the best to trade that rook. I knew that, but I just really had no other ideas. So let's go here. Attack this. He has a good barricade here as well. Same as me. But the problem is, like, if I start to push, you know, he just takes the pawn. Maybe I can bank on pushing this one, though. Maybe that one will be possible. That's my only hope. And I think that I can win now this one. Because no matter where he jumps, he can attack it. It's still mine, you know. And this bishop can't defend it. And king is too slow. So I think that I'm winning this pawn and we're back to equal. Yeah, he can... Yeah, that, that doesn't work, sir. That doesn't work. I still get the pawn. I mean, I won't get the bishop, of course, but... Of course my horse, but if he like jumps like somewhere, I don't know, we just do this. We just do that. And we're winning the game. So now he's up a minute. Okay, let's go here. And then like this. Yeah, let's do this, I don't care. We just have to hurry up because now we're in bullet mode, so that ain't the best. We're just gonna check him a couple of times. You know, like reality check? If we go here, maybe he will sack or something, I don't know. I'm out of ideas here because the position is completely equal. We just have to wait for him to blunder and that's it. Can't take, cause I have the rook, haha. -ha. Yeah, this could also be a good move now. I'm ready to start pushing those pawns. By the way, he gave the pawn here. Yeah, we just go up, ask a horse a question, don't care. Now I'm chilling, honestly, I'm chilling. <laughs> End games, you know? They're scary when you think about it, but then when you come to the game, it's tricky, but... Yeah, if do we want to take the pawn or protect the pawn? That's my question. Yeah, let's take the pawn, we don't care, because then we're gonna promote these, take it. Take it, sir, don't care. Uh, let's go like this again. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just bullying him, but he is up on time, though, but not so much. He was up on minute, now he's up on 30 seconds. So, can I win this? Can Zappa win the game? Let's ask the bishop a question now, because he has two pieces to think about. One of them is a horse who looks like very, very weird, you know. And another one is a bishop. So they don't look in the same way. I just have a rook who is going like, like you know, straight line. So it's easier for me to think about it than to for him, you know. Uh, let, let's do this now. Because I think it's a good, good decision to do this now. After the horse moves, we can like check here maybe. Yeah, I don't care. I don't know what does that do. So we are now just trying to flag the dude in rapid. That That's the situation on the board currently, guys. <laughs> Flagging in rapid. It's a long game. Yeah, this is this is a complete draw. Let's offer him a draw to see whether or not he's gonna accept it. Maybe he accepts the draw. He, he accepted the draw. Let's go, let's go. Because the position was just like complete draw. And... I'm glad we did this. Now when they say I was completely winning. Oh no, it was a com it was completely tutto completo zero zero, okay? So I'm glad that I remember that I can actually offer a draw because this was just a point of flagging and there there is like no point in flagging when we have a position like this. So I'm actually glad glad we agreed upon this draw. So uh, guys, this is the game. Uh, let's go quickly to the game analysis first just to see the accuracy. And, and the estimates for me and my opponent. This opponent was holding well. He just didn't know how to punish me for my stupid mistakes in the opening. And then I just went to equality. See, we have a good, for 1000 ELO, 
he has 77.8 and I have 75.7, which is a good accuracy. 20 best moves and 11 excellent moves from both of us. So this is a pretty equal game. He does have two great moves because I really blundered, you know. I have zero blunders though, he has two, so I'm, I don't understand. I probably made just mistakes. Uh, so the estimate is 1250 for my opponent and 1150 for me. Pretty equal game, pretty straightforward. We were uh, very similar players uh, <laughs> of similar skill and knowledge. Uh, I blundered first, he took that up. He didn't know how to punish it, so I ended up taking his. And we were just straight up equal, 0-0. Zero, zero. And uh, we agreed on a draw because sometimes that's how games end. Sometimes that is it, you know. They say I have a completely winning chance here. Because he just did something. And then I did this. So let's see what was the best move. Oh, I was trying to go from this side. I didn't understand, sir. Oh my goodness, I could have won the game. It's fine, it's fine. I'm, I'm happy that it ended this way as well. So today we gained zero elo points because we drew. Or did we like gain one? I don't think we, we gained anything. Yeah, we didn't gain anything. So uh, I had fun in this game and it taught me a thing or two about 10 games. That rooks don't have to go like, you know in a box like that, I can just like go up and that's it. I didn't look at that that part in the position, so this was something new and refreshing. And this opponent was also very good. And I, I like that the game was actually dynamic, even though it ended up in a draw. It was actually dynamic because it was like, oh, I'm losing, then oh, we're back to equal, then he's losing, then I don't know how to, uh, how to use that, then we're back to equality. Crazy, crazy games, okay guys? So uh, the point of today's game and today's vi uh, video and the message would be that you should keep things balanced, okay? This game is <laughs> the proof you don't have to win every single game. You can draw them that you, you didn't lose. So if you feel like you're going to lose the game like I was in the beginning uh, and you know that you can't win, the name for a draw at least. Maybe you can draw, you know, or maybe you can flag. There are endless possibilities, so just don't give up, guys. So uh, that is it for the games and for the video. I hope you enjoyed them and I hope you enjoyed watching this game. I, I had a lot of fun. And please let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and feelings about this. Uh, like this video and subscribe to this channel if you already aren't. And make sure to check out the description own box uh, for the Discord. Join the Discord. We want to all hang out there and we're having a lot of fun. But it would be more fun if we had even more people there. Uh, make sure to join the uh, Soul Crushers Club because we're having arena, sir, uh, arena very soon. And I think it's going to be Sunday because everybody voted Sunday. And if you want to uh, donate of any sort, you can join uh, the memberships, Patreon or just buymeacoffee.com. So all of those are linked in the description. Check it out and come and hang out with us on Discord. So guys, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by and uh, sharing uh, your attention and time uh, with me and uh, watching this game. I'm, I'm very happy about it. Thank you. And uh, that's it. Have a wonderful day and keep on smiling. So that is it from your chest, Doctor. I'm gonna see you all tomorrow in a new video. Bye-bye!